When you hear the pitter-patter of a 900-pound mutant charging towards you in Darktide, then a number of things might cross your mind. Do I have time to pull out my bolter? Or I'm out of dodges and my ribs are about to be shattered into a million pieces. Sometimes it's a good idea to simply stand still. Envision yourself lifting a cement brick above your head and lob it as hard as you can in the mutant's general direction. If you've played much Ogryn in Darktide, you might have known where I was going with this. This is a video about those cheeky things called ragdolls. Darktide has some pretty interesting visual details if you give the heretic forces a good thumping. How the hell is this dude still alive? Although it's not the first game in existence to visually represent damage like this, the supernatural nature of the enemies in Darktide mean that they can take a bit more of a beating than someone like Derek from The Last of Us. Even so, eventually a bloke blessed by Nurgle is going to start flopping around if you smack hard enough. This is where ragdolls come in. I have the kind of brain rot that makes ragdolls incredibly funny to me. Mind you, it's not from a friendly chaotic patron like these guys. My mind virus comes from playing a bit too much tier 2. You might, like me, actively search for the best ragdolls Darktide has to offer. You might even find inspiration in ragdolls. Or maybe you don't really give a damn and you just click the video because there hasn't been an update in two months and you're bored. Let's have a peek at the various ways you and your pals can make the traitors of Tertium fly across the screen. Of course, not every heretic has the same size or weight. Some of them are just regular peeps who have huffed a bit too much of the Nurgle Goo Goo Gar Gar gas. Others are the nigh immovable monstrosities that pop out of a wall now and then. A general rule for ragdolls is that the bigger something is, the harder it is to move. Monsters themselves are a bit weird in this regard, and so are the hounds and mutants, but the rest follow the rule quite nicely. It might also be a good time to mention that if you are looking for a coherent essay detailing the intricacies of dark tide physics, then you're looking in the wrong place. This is just going to be me spelling out my own personal ragdoll meta. We'll start off with the underwhelming stuff and get increasingly silly the further we go. Almost all the guns in Darktide will either make heretics do a little hand animated twirl on death, or they'll ragdoll them slightly. Some of the guns are better than others at making this happen, like the auto guns, although they still aren't too great. I did a bit of testing and found the only way to make heretics bounce around is to keep shooting after they've already bit the dust. Each bullet will punch them backwards slightly, and if you have a lower angle, you'll make them slide on the floor with quite a surprising speed. It should be quite obvious, but Veteran has the least interesting potential for ragdolls in Darktide. Play a class like Veteran if you want to punch holes in bad guys or turn them into soup, not fling them around. Next up are Psychers. Their exclusive weapons are the only thing worth mentioning here, and even then they're still not very impressive. The Void Strike has a similar effect to a regular gun when you get a headshot. I personally think that they should make Void Strike blast poxwalkers into the next room over, but what do I know? The Trauma Staff can actually make some decent ragdolls, although it has a tendency to liquefy anything in the blast radius, so it's a bit too morbid to qualify as a funny ragdoll for me. Brain Burst has a habit of stopping the momentum of anything it kills, so Psyker gets minus points for that one. They do get points for Rule of Cool with four swords though. Coming up to the fun stuff now, the Crusher. The Crusher is Zealot's first blunt weapon unlock. It used to be a steaming pile of trash, but it's good now, since you need to kill stuff to make him ragdoll in the first place. You will see Groaners flying around if you spam pretty much any part of the moveset in a horde. The best way to launch heretics is definitely the push attack, since the upwards angle sends small weighted enemies up into the air a fair amount. Weirdly enough, the power-up special doesn't seem to affect the more horizontal ragdolls compared to downward strikes, if at all. It's still a nice little gateway ragdoll stick though. Good job, Fat Shark. Zealot also has access to an iconic piece of 40k weaponry in the form of the Thunderhammer. It's got quite a reputation for its bonk ability. So how does it hold up compared to the other weapons in Darktide? It's alright. Putting weapon meta aside, being able to send Nurgle aligned weirdos back to their god and beyond is very satisfying. The unpowered hits are more consistent than the crusher, the powered hits are straight up funny ragdolls on demand. You couldn't ask for a better weapon as a tiny baby human with tiny baby human arms. But what if you're about 3 foot taller, exponentially more handsome, and could pick up a bolter like a bag of chips? The Ogryn is in a whole different league of his own when it comes to sending peeps in the air. Most of his melee weaponry can create decent ragdolls. The punch, the slap, the light spam juggling 5 different guys at once. It's great, but I want to focus on a top 3 or I'd be here forever. An unbuffed power mall sits sadly in my inventory until I feel like throwing an entire row of heretics at a wall. It has a similar ragdoll strength to the hammer, except the explosion hits more than one guy. Yeah, it still sucks, and the bully clubs do a lot better than actually damaging things, but at least the pool partly lets me live out my dream of having an ogrin hold a thunder hammer. The second best weapon to ragdoll enemies in Darktide is, is the rock. 
Before you exile me from the Rations Lunch Club, there's a couple of reasons why The Rock or its less contemporary counterpart, The Box, didn't make first place. As one of Oggy's grenade slots, this brick does an amazing job at turning enemies' momentum against them. You've all seen a mutant getting rocked, it's a laugh. It also recharges, meaning that the patient Ogrin can enjoy a game without desperately checking every container on the map like a madman. To top it off, it one-shots a large majority of the heretical lineup. I want to apologize. There's a common Ogren saying in Darktide, to kill two mutants with one stone. As if the rock wasn't already an Oggy's best friend already, it has a lingering hitbox of some kind that can collateral. So why on Emperor's Green Terror has it not earned first place on the list? What the fuck? I've been searching for the reason behind funky Dark Tide physics. I've stacked a thunder hammer with the maximum impact possible. I've tried to recreate the scenarios in which stuff like this happens, but nothing works. I have, however, found a weapon that can mimic a fraction of this power. Looking for a completely nonsensical bug requires a completely nonsensical weapon. The GG. Occasionally during the odd game, Dark Tide can create the perfect setup for a good ragdoll, like placing a barrel next to a 300 foot drop. There are a few things to think about when trying to line up the perfect ragdoll though. What's my elevation looking like? Do I hit them in the legs or the face? Is the game gifting me a special enemy that carries its momentum on death? The gauntlet doesn't give a shit about any of those things. Chaos Spawn needs your help doing a backflip, well now you can make it happen. Almost every heretic flung around by this beastly box hits the floor a better man. I've gone so far as to conceptualise a new Ogren sport where you line up trash mobs in the air and smite them down to the lowest level in Hive Tertium. Unfortunately, it does involve leaving your team to fight the endless horrors of the warp, as you stand uselessly near a ledge trying to bait a Groner so you can throw him into the abyss. Here's what that looks like. If that hasn't convinced you, then I have good news. You can use all of the weapons in this stupid video. Although, I suggest if you want a healthy balanced diet of rank dolls, to at least take the rock and the grenade air gauntlet. To tie things up, I would like to thank you for watching this 7 or so minute excuse to make a dark tide montage. I'll see you around.